To all my classmates who alienated me because I was different. To anyone who never gave me a chance. To the people who ignored me while I hid behind zeros and ones. Thank you. Ethan. Stop fighting, Ethan. Be polite, Ethan. We can suppress the animal instincts all we want, bury them under layers of polish. But they exist for a reason. When we lived in a genteel fairy tale world, somebody did the dirty work out of sight. But when the fairy tale turned nightmare, those instincts were the only thing that kept us alive. Nobody expected a nine-year-old girl from Tokyo to be fascinated by guns. Nobody imagined a 22-year-old university senior would drop out and train for the biathlon. Nobody believed that the daughter of a salaryman could win Olympic gold. Nobody predicted that a necrotic plague would decimate our planet's population. But life is all about the unforeseen. And nobody saw me coming either. I was just a boy when the Soviet Union collapsed. The nation was divided in two. Those with power, and those without. At eight years old, I learned the price of weakness. And I vowed never to pay that price again. I became the strong man. I gathered wealth, influence, and power. But nature is indifferent to the hierarchy of men. Once more, she burned my world to ashes, leaving only bitterness and the rage I would need to survive. We're so small, really, insignificant. In the grand scheme, one life means so little. You dedicate yourself to a principle. But 
in the end. It's out of your control. In this world, principles get you killed. You lend a hand, it gets torn off. You hesitate, you die. So you want to save someone? Save yourself. I was born into this life. I suffered for it. And reaped the rewards. I could tell you that I didn't want it. That I tried to get out. But I got no reason to lie anymore. That life is the only reason I'm still here. I will not be welcome in the kingdom of heaven. That fate was never in the cards for a man like me. The Lord had other plans. with God. I was never afraid of Cachet the Deathless. I laughed at the fairy tale of this undead phantom. A woman of science would never fear such silliness. But what do we know? Science cannot explain what I've seen. And in the face of such horror, there is no logic. <laughs> 